Hi friends, welcome to Anand Science Academy. In this video, I am starting the new chapter, Principles of Inheritance and Variation. This chapter comes under the unit, Genetics and Evolution. There are three lessons in that unit. This is the first lesson and fifth chapter in the NCRT reader. Have you ever wondered why an elephant always gives birth only to a baby elephant and not any other animal? Or why a mango seed forms only a mango plant and not any other plant? Given that they do, are the offspring identical to their parents? Or do they show differences in some of their characteristics? Have you ever wondered why siblings sometimes look so similar to each other or sometimes even so different? These and several related questions are dealt with scientifically in a branch of biology known as genetics. This subject genetics deals with the inheritance as well as the variation of characters from parents to offspring. Inheritance is the process by which characters are passed on from parent to progeny or the young one. It is the basis of heredity. Variation is the degree by which the progeny differ from their parents. Humans knew from as early as 8000 to 1000 BC that one of the causes of variation was hidden in sexual reproduction. They exploited the variations that were naturally present in the wild populations of plants and animals to selectively breed and select for organisms that possessed desirable characters. For example, through artificial selection and domestication from ancestral wild cows, we have well-known Indian breeds. Say for example, Sahiwal cows in Punjab. The cattle is mainly found in Punjab province of Pakistan and Indian states of Punjab, Haryana and Rajasthan. Sahiwal is considered a heat-tolerant and high milk producing cattle breed. We must however recognize that though our ancestors knew about the inheritance of characters and variation, they had very little idea about the scientific basis of these phenomena. It was during the mid 19th century that headway was made in the understanding of inheritance. Grigor Mendel conducted hybridization experiments on garden peas for seven years and proposed the laws of inheritance in living organisms. During Mendel's investigations into inheritance patterns, it was for the first time that statistical analysis and mathematical logic were applied to problems in biology. His experiments had a large sampling size which gave greater credibility to the data that he collected. Also, the confirmation of the inferences from experiments on successive generations of his test plants proved that his results pointed to general rules of inheritance rather than being unsubstantiated ideas. Mendel investigated characters in the garden pea plant that were manifested as two opposing traits. For example, tall or dwarf plants, yellow or green seeds. This allowed him to set up a basic framework of rules governing inheritance, which was expanded on by later scientists to account for all the diverse natural observations 
and the complexity inherent in them. Mendel conducted such artificial pollination or cross-pollination experiments using several true breeding pea lines. Let's see what is an artificial pollination. Artificial pollination is a type of pollination carried out by humans. It is a mechanical technique used to pollinate plants when natural pollination is insufficient or undesirable. What is a true breeding line or pure breeding line? A true breeding or pure breeding line is one that having undergone continuous self-pollination shows the stable trait inheritance and expression for several generations. Mendel selected 14 true breeding pea plant varieties as pairs which were similar except for one character with contrasting traits. Let us see what are those seven characters with 14 contrasting traits. First one, seed shape. It is a character. Seed shape is a character which has two contrasting traits. What are they? Round shape and wrinkled shape. The next character is seed color. There were green seeds and yellow seeds. Seed color is the character and green and yellow are the true contrasting traits. Next character is flower color. There are two contrasting traits. One is violet, another one is white. Next character, flower position. The two contrasting traits are axial position and terminal position. Next character is pod shape. A pod is the fruit of the pea plant. There are two different traits, contrasting traits. One is inflated pod, the other one is constricted pod. You can see the difference in the shape. Here is the next character, pod color. The two contrasting traits are yellow color pod and green color pod. The other character is height of the stem. The two contrasting traits are tall plants and dwarf. The tall plants usually grow up to 6 to 7 feet tall. Dwarf plants grow only up to 2 to 3 feet tall. Let's recall the 7 characters and their contrasting traits. Stem height, tall or dwarf. Flower color, violet or white. Flower position, axial or terminal. Pod shape, inflated or constricted. Pod color, green or yellow. Seed shape, round or wrinkled. Seed color, yellow or green. Hope you are all clear with what is inheritance, what is variation, what is artificial hybridization and a pure breeding line. The seven characters studied by Mendel and their contrasting traits. Let's continue the chapter in the next video. Good luck.